what's up guys on YouTube how are you guys today well I want to talk to you guys today on how can you take a pulse a 9 volt battery now I have two different batteries I have a rechargeable 9 volt battery we're not going to be taking that on a pulse because that's a rechargeable one we're going to be taking a pulse the non uh, chargeable 9 volt battery have this happened to you guys many times and all over the years of your 9 volt clips break off and you can't seem to find any uh, replacement bolts uh, for your 9 volt uh, battery clips I'm going to show you guys today on how to uh, salvage the 9 volt battery clip on this battery up here now, do be careful if you are going to take this 9 volt battery of bolt. Make sure this battery is completely dead on the, because it can kind of shock you a little bit here, guys. But yeah, you know, it's a, it's a low voltage battery, you know. Um, this do be careful. Now, this is a real energizer uh, 9 volt battery right here. This is also a known uh, 9 volt uh, battery right here. This is a energizer. 9 volt rechargeable battery. We're not going to take this on a pole. We're going to take this on a pole to salvage the clip out of here. Now, it's all different ways you can salvage these clips to make new clips like these. Very interesting on the way I can do that. Now, a couple tools you're going to need. So you're going to need a, flat -head, a very thin flat edge screwdriver, like this one. And you're going to need a pretty decent pair of pliers like these. A bigger pair of pliers would be the best ideal. Now, I've done this uh, somewhat in the past of taking these things apart. Now, that's only a uh, quadruple size batteries in here. They're very uh, small and very thin of a battery. That's what it has six batteries in one of these 9 volt batteries. That's all it is. That's the quadruple size battery. It's, it's smaller than a double uh, A, smaller than a triple A, but it's pretty interesting to find out what really makes one of these uh, pretty uh, good batteries to work like it normally does. Now, do be careful on buying the generic batteries because some of the times the generic batteries are not going to have. Uh, the clips and stuff inside of them. Uh, you know, it's pretty interesting. I really do like the way uh, everything seems to go to ghetto. Now, I have salvaged one of the 9-volt uh, clips out. This is what it looks like. You guys can see that. I'm going to make a new clip out of this. All you have to do is just solder a piece of wire to the ends of these guys here. And you can... Make yourself a pretty neat looking uh, clip holder for your 9 volt batteries. But I have this happened many times before on things breaking. And these little guys are pretty hard to seem to find. It's like, hmm, okay. Alright, let's get down to the uh, tail down here. Let's go ahead and show you both of the batteries. This is the rechargeable one. We're not going to be taking that on the port. This is the uh, one we are going to be taking a pot. We're going to put the 9 volt battery off uh, the rechargeable one all the way off to the side. We'll mostly focus on this one to salvage the clip on the top. Now, you guys can see right down this, right down this middle is a seam. That's the seam we're looking for. We got to go shoot from the top, and we got to use the screwdriver to go shoot at the bottom. To pop the seam off. Now, there's no seam on this side. It's only one seam on this side. You guys can see. No seam on that side, but it's one seam on that side. Now, <clears throat> the way I've done this in the past, so I just to take an ordinary screwdriver and I somewhat lay it down on the table like this. It kind of poke at it. I kind of stab the screwdriver through the uh, through the case like this. Now, do be careful if you're going to be doing this kind of somewhat 
Lloyd Kill is trying to get the battery casing off. Now you can also use a bit stronger screwdriver, like I should use a stronger screwdriver. But a thinner screwdriver would actually work a lot better. Now, because I'm going to lay it on its side. And I'm just going to shove my screwdriver downhill. And at the seam, it should somewhat gently come apart. Now, it is a very different, <laughs> very different story to get the 9 volt uh, clip out of these 9 volt batteries. Is you just gotta work your screwdriver down the seam. And sometimes, if you can get it, she should pop loose. And it's very easy for it to come apart. Like that. Now, of course, I'm gonna be tying this apart. You guys can see, I'm doing a little bit damage to uh, this battery. But, I don't you're not doing too much damage to this. I don't really care too much about the outer, uh, the outer casing. The outer casing is just metal. And it's, like I said, it's a very interesting interesting build on how this actual is put together. Now, we're down with the screwdriver. Now, we're, we're gonna try to peel back the outer shell here. Now, if you want to, you can keep poking at it with the screwdriver and start Pop in the seam of hope, just like that. Now, we're going to use the glue guy there, and we're going to gently pop it apart. Now, we go because these batteries inside are very loose, and there you go. And that's how you take apart an energizer 9 volt battery. Very interesting to take apart. Uh, you can see. These are called quadruple size batteries. These are very really small in size. Now, we're not after the batteries. We're after this. This is the uh, little uh, clip we're after. This little guy. Okay. So as long as we don't do any damage to uh, the battery clip. Now, of course, it can get kind of somewhat damaged there a little bit, but that's fine. We can uh, fix that with uh, some neonose flowers, but. I have successfully removed one before out of a non 9 volt battery. Now, this I do not recommend trying to remove the 9 volt clip out of a rechargeable battery. I don't recommend doing that. Only in the uh, non rechargeable ones. And the reason why is you can just replace your original with a non 9 volt clip. Now, what's inside of this? Uh, uh, battery, 9 volt battery, is six of these quadruple size uh, batteries. No, and no uh, thing uses these quadruple size batteries. And there's only six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's six of them. Very small, very compact. And that's how you get the auto shell off of your energizer battery. Now, you can try this right or you can just scrap. Now, we do have some own materials on the inside of this 9-volt um, battery. You always have this kind of unique uh, a little uh, thin metal uh, pin here with all the, the batteries that go kind of on there. And we also have a bottom as well. And same thing. And it also has a silicone bottom. Non conductive silicone bottle, but that's a standard silicone bottle. Alright, guys, this is how I took apart a 9 volt battery. Just using a simple pair of tools and also a pair of pliers. Now, of course, I don't recommend trying to do this yourself because it can be quite dangerous to do uh, this kind of work on a type of 9 volt battery because sometimes. Trying to salvage these little guys is going to be very tough. Very tough to salvage. But, 
This is how I did it. This is what I wanted to show you guys on what you can do with those dead 9 volt batteries. Instead of destroying them away, you can just salvage the clips and make new clips out of. Well, and this was not happen all the time. But alright uh, guys, if you have been new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please leave a comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out. Bye guys, we'll see you in the next vlog.